crowd looks hype tonight. Better come with it. Everything good, MP? Let's ride that hot hand to another W, baby. This is the NBA Finals, Game 2. The Chicago Bulls come in off a critical Game 1 win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Spurs. The NBA postseason, coming up next. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. Take a look at the Spurs. They've overcome a number of challenges just to get here. Now down one game to none. Greg, they face a huge hurdle. And, and you know what? I think they learned a lot in game one. Playing against the best the league has to offer. They know they have to make some adjustments. Keep everyone involved, and they have to hit the open shots they're getting. You were talking about the adjustments before. I agree. And the starting group for the Spurs. Kerr is out there with Victor Rembenyama. Then it's Castle. Then it's Buck. And it's Vassell in at the two guard. Now here's Kerr. Out to the wing. Tries it from 19. And Tatum pulls it down. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. You can't settle for bad shots. MP inside. Defended by Wembenyama. You love to see MP just attack that rim. Young players take note. And just about a minute into the first quarter. San Antonio with the ball. Four-point game. Here's Wembenyama. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. And it is dangerous to let him get it going this side. Here's Buzelis. MP inside. Defended by Wembenyama. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Clock is at three. Here's Vassell. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. Bulls have gone two or three here to start off the game. Pass to MP. And stolen by Butler. Now Kerr. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Dosumu. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Good on the second free throw. And here are the Bulls now. And this group executing a postseason story that's truly remarkable. 13 wins in a row. They've swept three teams and now have a one-game advantage in the NBA Finals. And they clearly have the momentum, right? And this is where you want to peak. When you go this long without losing, that builds even more confidence. And I'll tell you what, this game tonight is a critical one. If they win again and go up 2-0, they just might be paving their way to that Larry O'Brien trophy. Well, it's so impressive how Jason Tatum has just continued to strengthen his game. He's a star who isn't easily satisfied by his own play and always wants to do more. Now, here's Butler. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, Butler's certainly not shy seeking out contact. He can live at the line. The Spurs have converted one or two free throws so far today. And so Butler nails both of them. 
We expect nothing less. He's generally been very good at the line. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with Coach Billy Donovan. And we talked about facing off against Jimmy Butler, and the coach said, you have to compete. No one in the league plays harder than Jimmy. He's a guy who gives his all on both ends, so you can't take one possession off. Jimmy Butler is truly a two-way star. Guys? Thank you, David. And when Benyama gets it to go. He's showing he's more than just an interior threat. When Benyama also possesses that reliable jump shot. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. MV is number one. Fourth, Victor Wembenyama. Those two have been really aggressive in the paint so far this postseason. They've provided the kind of rebounding you need in this atmosphere. Morant right side. And stolen by Butler. In transition, here come the Spurs. That one good for two. Yeah, and that mid-range shot is really Vassell's primary weapon. Bulls trail by three. Pass to Buzelis. Here's Tatum to the inside. And the dunk by MP. And guys, he saw his chance to earn a little camera time there and took uh, it. Rocking the rim with some major force. I mean, the defense basically gave that one to him. And so it's San Antonio with it. And then Yama outside. Back to Butler. Now here's Vassell. And Benyama with it. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Wem Benyama's got seven points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. Chicago making a switch here. Levine's checked in. Off the inbound pass. They get it back. And MP throws it down. Talk about a guy who never gives up. MP showing great effort. So it's the Spurs now. Now Butler. Yes, to Castle. Back to Butler. Over MP. And Wimbenyama throws it down. Yeah, you have to be aware of Wimbenyama on the boards. Really keep a body on it. Morant passes to MP. Here's Dosunu. Back to MP. Out to Morant. Wimbenyama with the rebound. Ben Benyama has got rebound number five here tonight. Vassell drives in. Count that one. Well, those were some weight room points from Vassell. Flexing his muscles. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They trail by six. Pass to MP. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Ten points for him. He is getting it done on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. Kerr outside. Here's Wimbenyama. And another basket for San Antonio. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Pass to Dosunmu. Inside. It's stolen. Here's Castle. Nothing on the board. Rembenyama, that's for two. Open jump shot off the mark. Well, that's a miss you can live with. I expect they'll go to it again, especially if the defense continues to concede it. Here's MP. Uses the glass to finish the layup. MP's got 12 points in the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Her outside. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. No good that time. Good defense by MP. Dosumu up top. Covered by Vassell. 
Here's MP, and MP throws it down. And you look at this scoring outburst by MP. What's incredible is he still has room to grow. The Spurs have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Butler, and the rejection by MP. Here's Tatum, oh, and the jam by Tatum. Wow, what a slam. Tatum not messing around right there. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. And San Antonio has possession. They come off a real tough loss on Wednesday. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Well, on the road, your defense needs to withstand runs from the other side. And that wasn't the case for them. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. Kobe White, he's checked in for John Morant. Bulls trail by three. Pass to Dosunmu. Down low. Here's MP. San Antonio with the rebound. Wem Benyama has got six rebounds in the game. Johnson outside. Outside Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. Johnson, that's for two. Chicago grabs the miss. MP's got five rebounds tonight. To the middle. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. What a move by Tatum. Finishing strong at the rim. One forty-one left here in the opening quarter. Here's Branham to the left wing. Mbenyama down low. Tatum on him. Mbenyama passes the count. And the rejection by MP. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. So for the Bulls, Jalen Smith comes in for MP. And the Bulls with some changes. MP's checked in for Smith. Jason Tatum comes in for Williams. And Bruzelis subbed in for Dosumu. San Antonio also making some changes. Kerr's checked in for Wembenyama. Jimmy Butler comes in for Keldon Johnson. And Castle is subbed in for Williams. The guard set is White alongside Levine. And P out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Buzelis in at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Bulls trail by three. Levine feeling it out a bit. He's looking for MP and finds him. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Well, their pass it to Collins. Knocked away. And stolen by Tatum. Here's Bruce Ellis. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Butler. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, guys. MP in the last time out against the Spurs was on a mission. He scored 53 points, and he dominated the glass all night, ripping down 20 boards. Numbers like that are sure to get attention around the league, and everyone's excited to see what he does tonight. Guys? Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. Yeah, and we're likely to see them go to him early on. See if he can't replicate that performance. And he's good on the second. Here's Castle. Still without a basket. Collins. And finished off by Collins. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But man, he plays as big as any of them. Thanks to that terrific leaping ability. 
Now here's White, trailing by four. Levine finds MP. Back to Levine. MP against Collins. And MP with the basket on the assist by Tatum. MP's got 16 points. Collins setting the pick for Butler. Over Bouchard. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. You gotta be impressed with Jimmy's playoff pick and roll action. He's so skilled at creating his shot. Here's MP. Right through contact, MP. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Jazz to Castle. Kerr outside. It's Collins high post. To the paint. Shot clock at five. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Kerr. Here's Branham. Hasn't made one yet. Butler passes to Branham. Here's Castle. Guarded by Levine. Chicago grabs the miss. Down low. Here's Tatum. Tatum gets it inside. And Tatum is an impressive athlete. So good at knifing inside and finishing at the rim. And timeout is called by Craig Popovich. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Morant, he's checked in for Chicago. Spurs also with the sub. Vassell's checked in. Here's Castle. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his first foul. On defense, the Bulls. The Spurs working the ball around now. Outside, Butler. Five to shoot. Over Bruzelis. Just doesn't seem to have it here in the second quarter. Butler, no good. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sync. Good luck trying to stop him now. MP, no good. San Antonio's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And the rejection by MP. And that'll be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Spurs making a switch here. Branham's checked in. Butler deciding where to go with it. Takes it inside, and Tatum pulls it down. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this quarter. Morant passes to MP. Butler with the steal. Here's Castle. No scoring in this one. They need this one. Butler with the bucket down low. And Jimmy Butler is very comfortable operating in that mid-range area. Morant kicks to Tatum. Pass to MP. The kick out to Tatum. Sinks the triple. Tatum's got 13 points. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Yeah, when you have a guy playing like he has been recently, he's got to be the first option on every possession. Here's Castle. Here's Vassell. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Vassell's got his third basket of the night right there. Outside Tatum. Kerr against MP. White, wide open. He fires. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Yeah, he's picking it up here in the second quarter after a slow start. Vassell outside. 
And again, it's the Spurs from deep. What a response from Vassell. Coming right back with the three of his own. Morant passes to White. 122 left here in the second. Another three for Chicago. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Pass to Branham. And here is Butler beyond the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Now, Bujellis. And a miss there on the triple. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Here's Branham, right covering. Vassell, wide open. Good on the triple. 13 points in the game. Well, Vassell has the range to create a lot of trouble at the arc. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Morant with the screen on Vassell. Pass to Tatum. Fires the three. Tatum from three. And after not making any threes in the first half, he now has two here in the second half. Let's see if he continue to add to that. Here's Kerr. Outside Butler. Gets up a three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bulls lead by one. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Chicago Bulls. It's a coach's dream to see the ball whip around the floor like this. They're playing some selfless basketball. It's been a thing of beauty. Stacking the dimes and buying buckets. Taking a look at the Spurs in this series. I'll get straight to it, Kenny. Is this a must-win game for them? They might not want to admit it, Ernie, but this is a must-win game. I look at this team and I think, if they drop this one, it's going to get into their heads and they're not coming back. Stop it, Kenny. It's not over yet. They know how to respond when their backs are against the walls. Well, I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out, huh? That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. Victor Wembanyama is out there with Kerr. Then there's Devin Vassell. Then it's Castle. And it's Butler in at the three spot. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Chicago leading. Pass to Dosunmu. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his third assist on the night. Vassell outside. They set the screen to the middle. Here's Castle. Back to Vassell. Six to shoot. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. That's a two from Butler. MP grabs the miss. MP's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Tatum gets the bucket. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a garage. Vassell, the bounce pass. Pass to Kerr. Vassell with it. Off the crossover. Vassell's got 15. 
Well, offensively, the cell is just relentless right now. And that energy is such a lift for his whole team. Morant dishes to MP. No good there. Good defense by Wembenyama. Outside Butler. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Butler's got his third basket of the night. Uh, the defense has to make it tougher for Butler. Can't give him that. Beat him against Kirk. And a pick pounds off the rim, but it sinks right in. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. And Benyama bends it to the show. Now Butler. Spurs working the ball around now. Inside. Good defense by MP. The Bulls leading by five. Tatum on the wing. Pass to MP. A rebound by the Spurs. Wembenyama has got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Here's Castle. And the rejection by MP. Wembenyama gets the bucket. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Outside Tatum. For three. They get the rebound. MP. MP fights for it. Strong work down low from MP. He doesn't let aggressive defense throw him off his game. Kerr outside. Pass to Castle. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Side Butler. Rem Benyama sets a screen for Butler. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three point shooters in the playoffs. Second is Zach Levine. Jimmy Butler fourth. And the bright lights of these playoffs have done wonders for each of their three point shooting. That's what they were both hoping for. Well, you got to appreciate how Butler inspires his teammates. He gives them someone to rally around on the floor. Here's MP, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Victor Wembenyama. Bulls have gone two of four at the free throw line. First one falls for him. A quiet but confident player. MP is one of those guys that lets his play do the talking most of the time. Zach Collins checked in for San Antonio. And he's shown a great touch at the line. They've tested the big guy, but he's come through. Here's Vassell. San Antonio again missing. The Bulls leading by six. Over in the corner, Dosumu. Pass to MP. MP going right to the rim. I love the determination that MP showed there. He is developing into an absolute bulldog. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Spurs trail by eight. Here's Castle. He has yet to score. Vassell outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Bulls have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Here's MP. Oh, MP makes it look easy. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Vassell outside. Butler in the corner. Six on the shot clock. For the three. Here's Collins. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Dosunmu. Morant outside. And here is MP, defended by Kerr. Here's MP, and MP throws it down. Well, he saw the height advantage he had and went right up with it. That's exactly what you want him to do there. Spurs trail by 12. 
Here's Collins. And finished off by Collins. Well, since coming into the league, Vassell has shown a lot of growth as a passer. Outside Tatum. MP inside. He's guarded by Collins. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Tatum. San Antonio's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Vassell outside to the inside. Kerr. And it's in there. Kerr's got five now. Oh, how about the floater there? Nice drop. Chicago leading by 10. Pass to Buzelis. He's looking for MP and finds him. San Antonio with the rebound. Collins has got his sixth rebound on the night. Now here's Vassell. Off the mark, get a chance to trim it to single digits. Chicago has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. A nice shot by MP. MP's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And timeout is called by Greg Popovich. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. And the Bulls making a change here. Levine's checked in, and San Antonio with the change here, too. Branham's checked in. On defense, Chicago. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Pass to Collins. Over MP. Shot by Collins, no good. Yeah, those shots from him are certainly not helping their case. To the middle, here's MP. And MP throws it down. Putting that pass right in his stride. Didn't have to slow up and was able to complete the play. Johnson's check in for the Spurs. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? Well, they've really been sharing the basketball. All coaches talk about that, try to get their teams to do it. Really great when you see it in action. And they've been working things through the post tonight, flexing their strength on the block. Collins passes to Johnson. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And Johnson plays with a lot of power, especially close to the basket. Outside Tatum. MP inside. Working on Collins. MP, good. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's Castle. Scoreless thus far. Butler up top. Guarded by Tatum. Hard earned by Butler. And Butler tremendously strong for a wing. That really helps inside. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fourth assist in this one. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Johnson, wide open, he fires. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Levine finds MP. Nails the baby hook. MP's got 39. Well, they just need to keep getting him the ball. He has been terrific this year. Butler dishes to Johnson. Cowan setting the big for Johnson. Well, a shot that time, not on target. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And MP throws it down. Well, he's been a lot of their offense. And the numbers certainly show it. Spurs trail by 20. Johnson outside. Pass to Butler. Over Tatum. 
And it's Butler missing. And that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's foul number two for him. Williams, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Spurs also with the sub. Williams, he's checked in for Castle. Spurs on defense. Here's Dosunmu. That three off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And stolen by Williams. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. Yeah, but if you get an open look, you got to think about taking it no matter how much time is left on the clock. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Pass to Morant from outside the arc. And no good. Got it off in time. He can't hit that time. And so it's the Chicago Bulls controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been active and effective. Back right after this. now a chance to show you our assist of the game and it's presented as always by State Farm yeah an easy choice tonight look at the precision on this pass put it on a platter form yeah. for the Bulls. MPs checked in for Smith Williams comes in for Jason Tatum and it's Luke Kennard in for Bruce Ellis Castles checked in for the Spurs Wembenyama, right side. Outside, Williams. He's looking for Wembenyama and finds him. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Levine and Williams up in the forward position. Kennard is out there with Kobe White. And it's MP in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. White left side. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. Well, yeah, and the defense is going to have to respond to that and chase him off the arc. Williams finds Wembenyama. Fades. And it's MV with the rebound. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Williams for three. Brenham pulls it in. Spurs have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Pass to Castle. Ren Benyama with it. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. MP's playing like he has something to prove. Strong defense from the youngster. Levine gets the bucket. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. That doesn't go either for Rem Benyama. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Chicago. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Yeah, it's always a little risky to lean this hard on the three-point shot. But when you're knocking them down, you might as well keep riding. And that one's good, Wembenyama. And a monster game for Wemby with the matchup issues he creates. I'm not sure anyone in this league can stop him when he's on. Here's MP. And it's a great finish! Oh, oh. oh my. Oh, wow. That was a dunk contest level jam right there. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. San Antonio's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. 
and it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the one he's had tonight. Well, it's all due to his energy and effort, as well as how well he's been able to get ideal positioning on the glass. And, and Levine knows how to use the spacing on the floor to his advantage, whether it's attacking the basket himself or setting up a teammate. Branham, the pass to Williams. And Benyama up top. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Takes the 13-footer. And off the front iron. And in it goes. Branham's got four this quarter. Yeah, making the fast move to his shot really gave Branham the upper hand there. Kennard, the pass to MP. Back to Kennard. Outside, White. Off target from outside. And uh, San Antonio shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Pass to Williams. Kennard against Wembenyama. They double-team Wembenyama. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And the Bulls making a change here. But teams check in. Bull shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Kennard, the bounce pass. Williams finds MP. Bulls moving the ball around. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by Victor Wembenyama. Wembenyama has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Castle misses. Well, he hasn't made a shot, and his team is losing. Time to find another solution. Here's MP. Wembenyama with the rebound. Wow. Missed the easy one right there, right at the rim, but came up empty. Pass to Kerr. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the first one drops. Zach Levine's checked in for Chicago. He's off on the second. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 16-7 run. The kick out to Williams. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Williams has got himself on the board with three there. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. Yeah, and where has the defense been? They've been content to let them fire away. They've got to close out to the arc. Butler against Levine. The shake. In the corner, it's Wembenyama. Off target with his three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Pass to MP. Lays it up off the glass. MP's got 47 points. Gets the ball inside and gets it done. Nice work by MP. Vassell outside. Now Kerr. Pass to Wembenyama. Here's Vassell. Hits the three-point bomb. And that'll effectively take care of game two here in the NBA Finals. We'll be switching venues for the next one. But right now, an important win for the Bulls. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. They couldn't have asked for a better start to the NBA Finals. Once they close this win out, they'll be sitting on a pretty good 2-0 series lead. Yeah, and obviously that's the perfect position 
to be in. They don't need to do anything differently in the next couple of games if they just continue to play their brand of basketball and don't get distracted. They'll be lifting that trophy in a few days. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for MP. Well, bottom line, he was just unstoppable at times. Not much you can do when he's playing with that kind of confidence. Here's Chicago. Outside, Levine. Pass to MP. The kick out to Williams. Fires from deep. And the Bulls get it back. And they double up MP. Williams passes to White. Five on the clock. And Carter has it in the corner. And again, no good by Chicago. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Out left to the wing. Wembenyama, a screen on Carter. Again with the block. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. So for Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. First team all defense is MP and four other guys. That's a great win. Now, forget it.